Racing horse-drawn carriages is one of the oldest equine traditions and was featured in the ancient Olympic Games. Today, part of the tradition lives on in the United States in the form of horse-drawn sled races through the snow. Jackson Hole, Wyoming is known for their cutter races held every February. For more than 40 years, the Jackson Hole Shrine Club, part of Caleb Shriners, has organized the races in Jackson in order to both preserve the long-standing Wyoming winter tradition and, more importantly, to help raise money for Shriners Hospitals for Children, Salt Lake City. This is a fantastic thing that they've been doing for this will be their 43rd year raising money for Shriners Hospitals for Children. A lot of people from town come out, a lot of visitors from uh, around the world come here to uh, Jackson Hole to uh, see things and when they come out there and see what Shriners are, are doing to help kids, the exposure is uh, very beneficial to our cause. The modern day race features two teams competing head to head on a quarter mile track through the icy cold snow. Each chariot features one driver and is propelled by two horses. The Jackson Hole Shrine Club is proud to host the only snow track cutter races in the country. The annual event is widely popular in the community and always draws large crowds of spectators of all ages. Just to see something so unique as this, chariot races in the snow. You get to see fast horses, they're doing that quarter mile in about 22 seconds. It's just wild. The uh Cutter races at the Shrine have been sponsoring for the last 43 years. I've been a part of that for most of that period. It's all a lot of fun, knowing that you're contributing something that's for a good cause and just being part of a group activity. It's also an opportunity for camaraderie and entertainment through the various activities surrounding this event. There's no event in the world like these. The Cutter races or the ski and this is the only place that's snow track where this stuff happens. So. If anybody ever has a bucket list wish, this would be certainly one of the best ones they could do. And for the cause, it's phenomenal. Everyone is so friendly and so enthusiastic, whether they're supporting or whether they're actually running. There's just something about the speed and the snow flying and the way it sounds and the people and their flags and coming down the track. I mean, it's a rush like we don't get in any place else. The drivers and horse owners themselves are not paid, but participate instead for the tradition and in support of the cause. Oh, it makes me feel like so. It, 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 there's nothing better than coming and running for the kids, you know, and, uh, you know, we, it, it takes a lot of time and money to get the horses ready to come up and do it, and that's what we look forward to every year, coming up and trying to help me raise money for the kids. The Shriners Hospitals for Children Healthcare System has been helping kids since 1922, regardless of their family's ability to pay. And the Cutter Races offer an opportunity to not only raise funds, but to raise awareness of the healthcare system and the founding fraternity, Shriners International. We got a hold of one of the Shriner members and they just got the ball rolling and within two and a half weeks of Omni being born, uh, we were down in Salt Lake uh, getting her the first series of casts. It's not a matter of the monetary um, help that we get, but uh, just the moral support too. Uh, even the Shriners in the local community, they love her. <laughs> the proceeds from these races go directly to the closest branch of the system, the Salt Lake City Hospital in nearby Utah. This event, uh, it's really special to me, especially because it goes to my hospital and I've been at Salt Lake City for about 11 years. Um, I was born with a birth defect, which made it so I wouldn't be able to walk. Me being born into a, a family that, you know, all of them play sports, my parents played sports, my brothers played sports. If I wouldn't have been able to walk, you know, I wouldn't have been able to play those sports with them. And I don't think I'd have as strong a relationship as I do with my, you know, brothers and my, uh, my family. You know, all of this is possible because it's trying to hospitals for children. So it's really a big part of my life and to see these guys um, helping out my hospital, it's really nice. This is the last known snow track that the Cutter Racers run on. And so it, it's very gratifying to have been able to know that, you know, you've helped out other people.